So we use two of the JCB engines, the uh, TCAE model in 56 kilowatt and 93 kilowatt. To date, we've used about 2,000 of them since we started using the engine. And we currently have 300 of them in our rental fleet with upwards of 760,000 combined hours since we started using the engine. And they've been very reliable and simple for our rental fleet service folks to use. My name is Mike Ramos. I'm a Director of Engineering and Product Development for the Dewatering Division of Xylem. Xylem is a, uh, is a company about water and solving water. We have three, three brands within Dewatering, and the Godwin pump is the one that uses the JCB diesel engine. So Godwin pumps are used in a wide, wide range of applications. One of our biggest is uh, oil and gas and mining. Uh, every mine pretty much has a issue with, with water and we are able to either sell them a pump to solve that problem or we rent them pumps to be able to dewater uh, their mines. When final tier four was going to go into effect for 25 to 56 kilowatt, we had a decision to make. We had used other engine manufacturers in the past, but JCB showed a, uh, an approach to final tier four that was simpler and uh, more cost effective than other manufacturers. My name is Chris Heritage. I am Production Engineering Manager at Xylem, located in the Bridgeport, New Jersey facility where we manufacture the Goblin product. So what sets JCB apart from other engine manufacturers is when we were looking for a final tier 4 diesel engine solution, we took notice that the 55 kilowatt engine that JCB produces meets final tier 4 emission standards in cylinder. What this means is Coming out of the turbo, the exhaust emissions meets the EPA regulation, so we don't have to have anything after treatment um, where other engine manufacturers treat that after it comes out of the engine, which adds cost to serviceability and it adds upfront cost to the engine. Some of the reasons that we chose the JCB engine was the um, power of the engine, the compliance with EPA uh, Tier 4 as well as EU Stage 4, the use of in-cylinder technology for treatment as opposed to after-treatment technologies, and then also the support and the history of, of the JCB product. So the engineering support has been great from selection, um, technical documentation, drawings, manuals, and also the, uh, the after-installation support. JCB sent a technician to our factory to review the installation and troubleshoot any problems that we had. The, the information we were able to get from JCB ahead of the installation, we were able to modify our designs to be able to fit that in there and it, it fit well with, um, with our trailers, enclosures and, and pump designs. So JCB has a distribution network and a dealer network across the United States that has been able to support our rental fleet and our customers. What really captured our attention on JCB is that the engines are used in their own equipment that they manufacture, construction equipment that's been around a long time and is respected in the industry. When you look at a portable diesel driven pump in a rental fleet, one day it's going to be at maximum power capability and then the next day it might be at 20 or 30 percent. And with some of the other engine manufacturers that use after treatment DPF technology, it can get fouled and have service issues. And I, I think that's why the JCB is a, a better selection because it doesn't have that. Mm -hmm.